What's going on, jumpers? In this jump rope tutorial, we're gonna cover the Mick release, which is a skill where you let go of the rope and then catch it again. There's actually three main ways to let go of the rope. The first is a pop Mick, where you place the handle on your wrist and pop it into the air. There's also the rope toss Mick, where you basically just throw the rope up into the air. And then there's the wrist Mick, where you release the rope lower than your turning hand. The actual release and catch stay the same in each of these variations, but the way you let go changes and that makes a huge difference depending on the rope that you're using or the combo that you're doing. I'm going to break down each of these mix in this three part series since they're each a little bit different. In this video, we're going to kick things off with the pop mix and I'm going to give you the main tips, things to avoid in a progression to actually learn this skill. If your goal is to become an efficient jumper and continually level up your skills over time, then this tutorial is for you. All right, let's get started. Before trying the pop mick, you just need to know how to do a basic side swing while jumping. So the pop mick is where you place the handle on your wrist and then pop the handle up into the air to start the vertical rotation. Before we get into the details though, just a heads up that I have a free 14 day kickstart for beginners. The kickstart is a free course where I cover everything you need to know as a new jumper, including all the proper gear, all the beginner freestyle and footwork skills you need to know, weekly warm ups and cooldowns, and a bunch more. There's over 30 full length modules to help set you up for the rest of your jump rope journey, no matter what style of jumping you choose. And it's free because getting started correctly with jump rope should not cost you an arm and a leg. You can sign up over at natekg.com forward slash kickstart. And there's also a link in the description below. Okay, getting back to the pop mic. The mic is actually a combination of three jumps all put together, a swing, a release, and then a catch. It is possible to do more than one release, but it's really important to only do one mic rotation for right now as you're learning. And if you learn this core three count, every other variation becomes so much easier to learn. And it's really important that you make sure you do the correct hand placement before you release the rope. If you're doing this on the left side of your body, your left handle will go on top of your right wrist. And if you do the mic on the right side of your body, your right handle will go on top of your left wrist. This has to be correct. Otherwise, the release is going to feel very awkward. And with either side, you want slight tension putting the handle on your wrist because then you'll be able to use your wrist to literally pop the rope up. Once you get the rope in the air, you want to focus on drawing a circle with your hand, making sure that you rotate your wrist. Your hand can move up a little bit, but focus on rotating your wrist to control the rope and then bring your turning arm back down as you catch the rope. This is very important and hard to get used to at first. It kind of feels like you have to catch and then jump, but you actually want to catch as you're lifting for the single under. There's also a few things to avoid, of course, and the first is having the wrong hand placement. If your wrists touch or if the rope hits your wrist, the rope is most likely going to wrap around your arm or fly out of control in front of you. And a rope that's too long will also make this skill harder. You'll find that shorter ropes are easier to do mix with, but you'll have to find a balance so you can do other skills with your rope. Don't release when the rope is going towards the ground because then the handle will also go right to the floor. Don't lock up your wrist and rely just on your forearm to turn the rope. This will make the mic really tough to control. Plus, it's just way more energy than you need to get the skill done. And if you go too slowly while you do the mic, the handle might just drop to the ground right out of the air. All right, let's get into how to practice the pop mic. The first step is to understand how to turn the rope with one hand. So we're actually going to do some horizontal spins. We'll put one handle down on the ground and then do two or three really big arm movements to get the rope turning horizontally. If you're turning with your left hand, rotate counterclockwise. If you're turning with your right hand, turn the rope clockwise. It's important to make sure that you only have one big loop. After you do a couple of large arm movements to get the rope moving, use your wrist to gently maintain the movement with some slight upwards tension. Then from there, we're gonna practice getting the right hand placement. So we'll just do a standing swing and stop with your hands in the right spot. Watch them and make sure you're only doing the side swing. Don't skip this step because this needs to be right in order to move on. Once you're getting that, we're going to go for a standing mic release, catching the rope into a toe catch. This is where you're going to spend most of your time. You will absolutely miss the catch a lot of times, and that is very normal. This skill is all about putting in enough reps to get the feel for the rotation. So just keep doing it again and again and again until it starts to click. After you do start to feel comfortable catching the rope, you want to immediately try jumping during the whole mic. This means doing a single under, small bound on the swing, release, catch to a single under and then a toe catch. This will probably feel like you're starting to learn the mic all over again and that's okay. Stick with it and make sure you're matching the three count rhythm. 
So that's it for part one. We'll be covering the rope toss and wrist mic variations in parts two and three. Don't forget to sign up for my free beginner program if you're new to jump rope. And if you want more tutorials, don't forget to subscribe to the channel because there's a lot more coming in the future. If you have any questions, drop a comment down below or DM me over on Instagram at Nate underscore KG.